I have another Happy Yak meal review for you. This time we're going to be having tarragon chicken dauphinoise. But what's going to be different about this video is how we prepare it. Keep watching. So my wife Jean and I are camping in Kujbaquack National Park, New Brunswick. It's our annual trip. We love to come up here every year. So this time what we thought we would do is we'd bring along one or two of the Happy Yak meals because uh, I wanted to show that you can cook. You don't have to use these as lightweight trail meals, that you can use them as something you go car camping. Now I'll say right up front, this would be a very expensive to thing to do if you wanted all your meals while you were car camping to be Happy Yak, freeze dried or these, uh, these types of meals. Nor Normally we don't do this. Normally what we have is a number of canned items as well as frozen items and that's part of the point I want to make. When we go camping we have no access to electricity, we use an ice chest and we have to buy blocks of ice or bags of ice to keep everything cool. As a result those things which are going to spoil the quickest like the fresh meats and the like we want to use those up within the first couple of days. After that we go into our store of canned or dried foods and we prepare meals that way. This year what we thought is bring a couple of these Happy Act meals and see if we could do something a little different with it. So let me read you a little bit about the tarragon chicken dauphinois and uh, then we'll get to putting it together. So we have a meal that consists of dehydrated potatoes, tarragon sauce and uh, chicken obviously. And, and a whole lot of other things. You know, what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to put a link to the Happy Yak website in the show notes below so you can get a more detailed list of uh, what's in this meal, if you, if you like. And what I want to share with you is that it is, uh, I'll read you the instructions because that's part of what we wanted to do is talk about how we're going to prepare it. So the instructions are is combine cold water, in this case 500 mils or two cups of cold water, with the bag in a bowl. Mix it well. Bring that bowl to a boil, stirring constantly reduce heat and simmer for five minutes stirring occasionally and then cover remove from heat and let stand 12 to 15 minutes so not an instant meal it's not one of those express meals from their express lines that the happy Yak has this does take a little bit more work but that's going to be the question is it going to be worth a little bit of extra effort is it something that will produce a good meal by the way Gina has never had one of these happy Yak meals or any freeze-dried meal for that re for that matter so she's going to be a taste tester on this one for for us. Okay, quick look at the bag and then we'll start to put this meal together. All right, Gina and I were trying to figure out the best way to show you how we're doing this. You can see that we have our oven on top of the stove here, and that's something else I'll share with you in the video as well. We're making a very special dessert. I'm not sure if it'll be in this video or in a video of its own, but if it's in another video, I'll make sure that you have a link to that video as well. So we have our pot with two cups or 500 mils of cold water. And here's the package again. Gene is going to open the package up and you'll be able to see the ingredients as we pour them into the cold water. Let's have a look inside the bag. Okay. Oh, yeah, potato flakes. I see. All right. And big chunks of chicken. Great. Okay. Let's uh, mix that in. Right, very good. Okay, and now then the trick is to turn the oven on or the stove on. This looks very nice. Nice big chunks of chicken. Pieces looks like maybe pieces of red pepper in there. Oh yeah. Okay, all the herbs in there. Right. Is that on yet? Not yet. Not yet, okay. So again, the instructions were to bring this to a boil, stirring constantly, reduce heat to a simmer, stirring occasionally, and then take it off, after five minutes, take it off the heat and let it sit covered. So, I won't make you watch the whole process here, I'll just show you the ingredients. The instructions also say you can use between 400 and 500 mils of water, or two and a half or what, a cup and three quarters roughly to two cups of water we decided to go with a little the uh, full amount it's because there's two of us going to be sharing this bag it is 290 calories per half a bag so each of us will be having a 290 calorie meal and we're going to supplement that with some green beans which you'll see as we sit down to eat so we'll uh, bring that to a boil we'll simmer it and we'll take it off the burner and when it's prepared we'll bring you back okay this looks amazing eh? 
So Heavenly Father, please bless this meal, the hands that prepared it and while we enjoyed it in this beautiful place here in New Brunswick. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. All right, so, so what we have for our meal tonight is the tarragon chicken dauphinese or dauphinese? Dauphinois. <laughs> Dauphinois. Okay, we apologize to anybody who knows the correct way to pronounce that. Uh, I, I, I'm sure I'm messing it up, but it um, looks like it's going to taste amazing either way. So you want uh, me to serve you? or? All right, let's see if I can't do that. It's probably going to be hot, isn't it? How do you feel about carrying a little bit of this up to the camera to show people? Shroud of it, I guess. Tell me when you've got enough. Excellent. Really? Good. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Leave that for yourself. Uh, lots for myself. So a few uh, beans. And let me share that with the viewers. Okay, hopefully you can see this while I refocus the camera here. So we did add some green beans on the side just because we wanted a little color and have a little variety on the on the plate. But you can see very clearly the potatoes fully rehydrated. There's some red peppers in here and there's quite a few pieces of chicken. So once again, Gina is going to give this a taste test because Gina has not had one of these freeze-dried dehydrated type meals before of any brand, let alone Happy Yak. And we'll get her impressions of it. So let me refocus the camera. Right. So it's size nice portions. Yeah. Still hot? Just just a little. Alright. And I'll get the rest of the beans, I guess, do I? See if I can get those out. Okay, so while Jen is getting her first impressions of it, uh, we do want to say uh, the pot that we're using is a fairly heavy-duty pot that we like to take camping, but it's not an insulated pot. Now, we're right now we're running about 23 degrees Celsius here in where we're, park, where we're camping. Normally, I would have put this inside an insulated container, so the, you know, it's a bit of a guess. Was it going to be warm enough during its wait time, the 15-minute wait time, for it to fully rehydrate? But uh, what are your first mm -hmm. impressions? Delicious. How uh, the, uh, the potatoes look good? The potatoes probably could have used another minute or two to rehydrate. I find them a little, a little bit firm of texture, in yeah. the middle. A little bit of texture. Wow, the flavor is definitely there. How about the chicken? Delicious. I don't think I could tell that from fresh chicken. It's lovely. Mmm, okay. Flavor's there. Um, now, what do you think about saltiness, spiciness, anything like that, the herb, the herb flavors. Very nice. Okay. Would you add anything to this? For myself, for my own taste, yeah. I probably would add a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. No salt? I don't think I'd add salt. I'm not a salt lover. Okay. So I wouldn't add salt. Okay. Um, if I was going to add anything, I might add some mushrooms, some fresh mushrooms. Oh yeah, there's something we could do to... So you're not limited to using just what's in the package if you want to add things to it. And that's what uh, one of the points we're trying to make here is that, you know, this can be formed the base of a meal. It doesn't have to be the complete meal. You can mm -hmm. add other things to it. As you can see here in the foreground is a dessert that we're having, which is a, a variation of an apple crisp that we developed that we'll be having with on and this will I'll put, provide a link to a separate video where we have this uh, make this and serve this so we'll have that for dessert um, so you don't find this overly salty or anything not at all okay no in, in fact I find it under salty under salty and that's is that's, that right yeah yeah that's interesting that's um, because a lot of the times these meals can be quite salty and these aren't happy yak they're able to produce a nice tasty meal without it being salty mm -hmm. Okay, folks, we're not going to sit there and make you watch us eat this whole meal. We just wanted to share that with you. And uh, you might want to give this a try. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I think the only thing 
may be to either simmer it a little longer, let it set a little longer. I think I would let it set a little longer. Just yes. to get the potatoes a little bit more time. Had I put it in an insulated container of some type, if I had made a cozy for this, something I didn't think of ahead of time, it may have retained a little bit more heat. The meal is warm enough, but it could have retained more heat for rehydrating. I don't think I would have reduced the amount of water that we added. All right, we had considered going with 400 mils instead of 500, mm -hmm. but it's plenty thick. You wouldn't want it any thicker than this, no. would you? No, no I agree. I and agree. I think if it was less water, the potatoes would be even firmer. Right, there wouldn't be enough water mm -hmm. to rehydrate. Mm -hmm. Good point, good point. Okay, folks, so we'll wrap, when we finish this meal, we'll wrap this video up. Okay, that turned out to be a really nice meal. That was the Tarragon Chicken Daffinois. And if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, feel free to correct me, because I'm not, honestly, I'm not quite sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, a few thoughts on it. Let's see. So, th as I mentioned, this was Gina's first freeze-dried, or one of these prepared hiking meals, ever. So it was interesting to get her thoughts on it. And she agreed with me. I tried not to prompt her to it, but even off camera she said, you know, I think I'd probably add a little salt to that. That's not salty at all. In fact, you know, it could add a little pepper, a little salt. Uh, she goes, I just didn't know if I should say anything about adding things to it. And I said, it's your meal. You can add whatever you want to it. It's just that you can't take stuff out of it. So uh, she did not find this salty. And I've said that all, all along. These Happy Yak meals are not salty. In fact, it leaves you the option to add a little salt if you feel it requires it. What else can I say about it? In hindsight, when we took it off the heat, following the, the instructions, it would have been better had we placed the pot in some type of a cozy or wrapped it in a towel or something to keep it hot because even though it was still warm when we went to eat it, it was cooler and I think that may have affected the rehydration of the potatoes just a little bit. So a couple of things would be, the it says on the instructions 400 to 500 milliliters of water, use every bit of the 500. I think I might even add a little bit more water to it and uh, let it set just a little longer wrapped up in something to make sure it stays warm and that way you'll get the maximum rehydration. Now it doesn't say that in the instructions so this is just from my experience that I share that with you. So that would be the only thing I would have to say about this meal is that it does take a little longer to fully rehydrate and is better if it's kept a little warm. Uh, other than that, it was a great meal as you saw. And again, one of the things I wanted to point out was that we used this as a base for our meal. It wasn't our complete meal all by itself. We had another dessert, which of course I'll link it as a separate video, as well as we added some fresh green beans. We bought one of the local stores here. And that's an option you can have when you're car camping. So again, we're doing this tonight as a car camping meal, not as a backpacking meal, just to show you an option. Yes, it would be too expensive to do on a regular basis, but maybe you want to have a couple of these with you. So for one of those nights when you can't get a fire going, it's raining. We had a big rainstorm last night. We ended up having a cold meal because it was just too much work to get to a good a hot meal going. So something like that. We probably could have done this last night, but I wanted to be able to do it outdoors where I was able to film and record everything that we were doing. Okay, if you have any thoughts on the Happy Yak, Tarragon Chicken Dauphinois. Please leave them in the, the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. But not until that time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.